Hey everyone, it's Natalie from Peg City Lovely. Welcome to my house. As you can see, a lot of space here, a lot of things to clean, and we've got a mixture of hardwood floors and carpets throughout. So it's really important to me to make sure that we have the proper vacuum or tools that we need to clean the floors. And just so you know, when we got our house, we had the option to do central vac and we chose not to. So our old vacuum or our current vacuum has been a corded vacuum that we have to lug up and down the stairs with the cords and find plugs and all that kind of fun stuff. Not fun. So I'm very fortunate that I get to try out this beautiful creation right here. This is the Hoover Air Cordless Vac. It's got a lithium battery, no bags, and super lightweight. So I'm pretty pumped to try it out, and you're gonna watch me do that. Okay, so pretty simple to use a vacuum. We're gonna do it on my front foyer carpet here. As you can see, there's a little footprint that tells me that's where I'm gonna step, pull the handle back, and now we're ready to go. Right over here, we've got our simple power button and also the option to see if it's carpet or hard floor. So, I think we're ready to rock. change to just having hardwood floor and just the suction but I like this utensil that it came with and it has very soft bristles so it can buff the floor a little bit and obviously with hardwood floors that's something you'd want to do so I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the brush sorry first step on it all right and it's so lightweight you just flip it over and yes, you're going to see all the nastiness from the carpet that I just did. You take the two clips, open the plate, look at all that, yuck. Lift up the brush you don't want to use, this is the hard brush with the hard bristles. Then you're going to put in the brush that you do want to use. Boom, like that. And you just got to make sure that little square there snaps in, put the plate back on, snap it in, and now I've got my new brush that I'm going to do the floors with. Right side up, and I'm ready to do the floors. Obviously, I would keep the brush on button not just the hard floor button because I now have changed the brush. I'm not just doing suction for the floors. Mm -hmm. So follow me as I do. Now I'm going to show you, next up, what to do with all this now. 
nastiness in here. All right, so what do we do with all the yuckiness? How do we get rid of this? Super simple, one press of a button, all comes off. This is also where you're gonna change your filter. So as you can see, you can go from open to lock just to get to your filter. You don't have to do that right now because all we wanna do is empty the uh, dust pot. So open up the garbage, press the button, and away goes all of your dirt and hair. Just like that. No muss, no fuss, no bags. Don't have to touch anything. Done. So as you can see, we've emptied the dirt cup. Super simple, press of a button. But after about four to six uses, you're gonna wanna change your filter. So luckily, this is what the filter looks like. Super simple, washable. So it came with two filters. So one's in here already, and this is the clean one. So while this one is being washed and air dry, you have another one. You don't have to stop vacuuming your house. So um, no soap, no water, anything. Just rinse with warm water and air dry after about four to six uses. Super easy to take it out of here. You pretty much unlock, pull, boom. There's the filter. Take that out and you can see it's been used, definitely. Uh, <laughs> take that out, rinse it with warm water and away we go. Dry it, put it back in, you're good to go. Very simple mechanism, light. I find that with some of the older vacuums and stuff, a lot of the pieces and things are, are not lightweight. I'm very happy to say these things are super lightweight. Not gonna hurt your back. Then you just flick it right back in and you're good to go again. So I think I'll show you one more thing and uh, well, you'll see. Not only does it come with two filters, it comes with two lithium batteries. could cause an issue and you can end up pulling out the whole handle while you're vacuuming so that piece of it uh, was a little bit rough for me um, but honestly uh, I mean it could be a little less loud it's it's pretty it's just as loud as my other vacuum um, and I have a, a, a canister vacuum right now so I do love the fact that 
I'm just in one motion. I'm not carrying two other pieces up up on the uh, stairs. Um, so yeah, I, I do I do thoroughly enjoy this bathroom. I'm very excited to use it, and I it makes it a heck of a lot easier for everyone in the house to use it as well. So as shown by my wonderful team, Cece. So that's it. Um, great vacuum. Could use a few modifications, but overall. Four stars out of five, if you ask me. And of course, it's on the blog, so you know there's a giveaway. Get on it, people. Enter now.